great ingredients. Serve piping hot. A perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. <laughs> we're not cracking eggs, we're no, cracking jokes absolutely. in the kitchen, Michael, really yep. fear. Uh, we're cooking something really <clears throat> fab today, which is my favorite, favorite all time. But I just want to say, if you purchase any of the products that we're cooking today from Pick and Pay with your <clears throat> Smart Shopper card, you're going to earn 95 points. Wow. So, and it eventually leads to money that you can swipe and you can use either for discount or you can use for charity uh, and, and give it to a charity organization. Yeah, so it's easy. very, very uh, convenient and easy and it takes two seconds to get one at your nearest pick and pay. What are we making? Well, it's vegetarian week as you know mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a, a butternut soup. And Which I'm, you know is my favorite. Yeah, I know, absolutely. <clears throat> and what I'm doing is I'm going to use um, carrot and onion and celery, which are the, sort of the classical Italian, they call it a sofrito, the holy sofrito. trinity. Yes. yes, the holy trinity. The holy trinity, which of course gives you great, great flavor in your, in your soup. So let's get going there first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Chopping up our celery. <clears throat> we chop the celery and then we're going to pop the celery in with the, with the vegetables here. Mm. And ingredients wise? Ingredients wise, we've got butternut, Carrot, onion, celery, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we've got a vegetable stock that we're going to cook this in, salt and pepper. And then once once these have been roasted in the oven, then <clears throat> we're going to we're going to pop them into the thermomix mm -hmm. and then um, add some ground almonds and some vegetable stock, and then serve them with dukkha toasts. Dukkha toasts. Dukkha toasts. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> there we go and we'll just splash some olive oil over the top. What we're going to do now is we're going to roast these, which obviously is going to change the flavor. It's going to dehydrate them, concentrating the flavor quite a bit too, which is... That's very interesting that you say dehydrate and then it concentrates, and it concentrates the, the, flavor. the flavor. So that, you know, what, we, what we're going to be doing when we add liquid to it, we're going to add a flavored liquid to it. Okay. And of course, if you're not vegetarian, you could use chicken stock if you like. And the magic word today, <coughs> if you need to SMS, is soup, S-O-U-P, 33728. You can get the ingredients in straight away to your mobile phone <coughs> right now or on uh, our uh, um, website, expressoshow.com. Yeah. Right, so if you could pop that into the oven. Okay. And <clears throat> I'm going to get making the, the dukkha toasts. Now, what we've done is we've taken the baguette and we've sliced it. And um, we, we're going to make some, some dukkha dressing. Dukkha is a sort of Middle Eastern, um, it's got sesame seeds and spices and hazelnuts and almonds and various things in it. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I'm going to use just a little bit of oil here just to moisten it. Why are you doing that? I'm, I'm seeing something interesting here in front of me. Yes. Three. Absolutely. We I've seen have... them in pick and pay, but I have no idea what it is. We what is it? We should have put some of this garlic into the, uh, into the vegetables. What is this, Michael? This is crushed garlic, deep frozen. One of these little containers is one clove of garlic, and then you just pop them out. And you can wow. put them into a pan or into um, into a roasting dish, whatever. And, and it's called? Got, it's called Dorrit. And it's available at Pick and Pay, <coughs> but it's not only the garlic that's herb, available. There's herbs and ginger. There's, Chopped coriander, and there's parsley. there's sweet basil, a whole variety of uh, And you can just freeze it? Yeah, you just, yeah, look at them. There, there it all is. So there so it is. you can put as much, as much or as little of the, of the herb in as you want. That's very nice. So you've forgotten to put that in our recipe. Absolutely. I didn't put it in with the... Uh, but you know what, I snuck out the one we made earlier and I know yep, you put it in it's there. In there I really think this is really interesting. I'm definitely going <clears> to get myself. Because especially if you're staying on your own, you don't yes, cook for many people. Absolutely. I always end up with garlic that goes off because I yeah. only use it like once in yeah. a while. So now I can just keep it in the freezer. Perfect. Yeah, and herbs Perfect. as well. I have that problem as well. Absolutely. And so, of course, they freeze them They freeze them, and are able to maintain the flavor too, which is lovely. And all the, the nutrients <coughs> as well. Yep. Right, so here we go. There, here are our toasts. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you just to pop them under the grill, but you're going to have to watch them carefully because they... Michael, you know happy. I'm a walking disaster in the kitchen. Uh, well, we can give it a try. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Now, what's, what's left here in the, with the, with the dukkha, mm -hmm. I'm just going to add a little bit more oil to it, and then we're going to drizzle that. There we go. Just pop it under for a short while. I'm going to add some more um, oil here to the dukkha. Yes. Make it sort of... A nice drizzly kind of oil and then we'll use this as a as a garnish for the soup. And I've already taken out the vegetables yeah, we made a bit earlier. Absolutely. 
So now we'll... <clears throat> And the nice thing, even though we're going into summer, you can have this cold all You all can, warm. absolutely. And it's a nice summer afternoon dish as well. I normally make it if it's on a Sunday and it's a warm Sunday. Yes. Late afternoon, nice you just had a big bread. lunch and you just yeah. want something light to have, you know, just before dinner time, like absolutely. late uh, afternoon-ish. Okay, so now you're scraping all the vegetables in. You can see there's the frozen garlic. You don't show me, I've got to show the people at home. There we are, you can see the frozen garlic there. Yeah. <laughs> little bit. I give you such a hard time when we I cook know, together, darling. But I do you love, love it. it. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So we've got that all in there. Yeah. And here we have our vegetable stock. Tell me about the vegetable stock. How did you make that? That's you can make it at home with um, sliced onion and carrot and celery and mm. and sort of potato mm. bits of potato, or you can use these wonderful liquid stocks that are available. I've seen them on the shelves at Pick and Pay. So I'm going to put about so half of that in. Okay. Let me pop that down here for you. Close that nicely. 33728, the number to SMS with the word soup, S-O-U-P, and the ingredients will be sent straight to your mobile phone. Also, if you want to check out the entire recipe, it's on our website, expressoshow.com. All our recipes are, in fact, there. Are you winning here, Michael? Yeah, I'm winning. Absolutely. I'm standing far away because I'm scared of this. Because you're pouring, it's mixing, yeah, and, and it's not messing. No. It, I like not that. Not yet, anyway. <coughs> and you just put your hand <coughs> over. Okay, so add some salt. Your toast? How's the toast doing? Oh, Michael, I almost burnt our toast. <coughs> you see, you put me in charge of one thing in the oven. Absolutely. And this is what happens. Right, Ooh. here we go. Oh dear. Those are perfect. No, I mean, I dropped one. It doesn't matter, not a problem, we don't need them all. <laughs> <clears throat> so we put some salt and pepper in here. You do know I'm blonde, hey? Absolutely, yep. But look how lovely those look. Except the one I, I dropped. But that's fine, we'll turn it over, we'll give it to Robert Whitehead a bit later on, he won't know the difference. Yeah. Yeah. It's called Chef's Perks. Yes. And I didn't drop it on the floor, so it's not that five second rule. I'm joking about that five second rule. I'd never do anything like right, that. Right, so I've now put in a, a hundred gram of, of ground almonds. And then let's, let's have a look and see <clears throat> how we're doing here. It's looking good. Yep. I think we might just need to. No, we need to give we it a bit to, more of a whirl. Can you have a chunky if you want to? Yeah, a you can, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And now, Michael, I know you always get your recipe from the most interesting places and the most interesting people. I've seen you on Twitter tweeting people for their recipes. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this recipe? Well, this one, I was I was sent a, um, a book. I, I have this uh, magazine called Crush. Mm -hmm. And I was sent, sent a book um, called Orient Express and written by a lady called Sylvina Rowe. Mm -hmm. And this is a variation of one of, of one of her recipes. Oh, nice. Yeah. You've adjusted it. <laughs> Let's get our, our, our friends in. Ooh. It smells delicious does, in here. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yep. Ooh, it does. Does. There we go. Even if it's a little bit. Mm. Nice and uh, oh, it's fantastic. smooth enough oh. now. It looks, oh, it looks gorgeous. Look at that Isn't color. That good? Do you know that Brilliant. we have two guests? We've got Absolutely. Robin and Michelle. Yeah. But we only have one bowl. Huh? Are they going to have We're... to share? Absolutely. No, we'll get another one out. We're gonna oh, no, we can taste from the same bowl. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, just going to drizzle a little swirl of that round there. On we, the top we, of the I have no idea where, where anything is in our later. kitchen, as you can see. So I'm, I'm going to let you just. Then we all. Do yes, <laughs> you'll just have to share. And then we. So oh, I'll just ask our behind-the-scenes chef the Zola to tell me that's where the they are. That's the blonde chick dropped. Yeah. Okay. I'll, and then we <laughs> serve the dukkah. <laughs> the dukkah toast yeah. with the. Oh, with the soup like that. There you go. Beautiful. All done. Ooh. And where does it go? Okay. Well, let's, for um, four people. Be careful. That's hot. Be careful. That's hot. Let's go over there. For four people. For four people, under a hundred right? rand for a family Brilliant. of four. Absolutely. Beautiful. And I tell you what, let's get some spoons. Michael, you know where the spoons are. I hope the spoons are here. No, they are there. Yeah, there we go. We were having a clean. Oh, be careful! It's very hot. We were having a clean out kitchen oh, this week, and we've your, moved everything yes, around. Yes, you did too. Oh, Thank you, Robert. So you there, there you go. Spoon each. Okay. Now, oh, I'm sick. Do you guys, when you're at the craft table, share your food as well? What craft no. table? You don't get a craft yeah. table? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, people that don't know what a craft table is on set movies and Hollywood and, and, yes. and soapies and Hollywood, it's a table yeah. that 
the meals are laid out on and coffees and teas and biscuits and stuff. You don't have that? Is that just in Hollywood? Oh. This looks delicious. Isn't it? Uh, uh, this looks yeah. absolutely yeah. lovely. This is our craft yeah. table. Yeah. Welcome to our no. craft table. Oh, oh lovely, really yeah. Mm. I wish lovely. I was here every morning. You are welcome to come out. Mm. Always welcome. I come every morning. Mm. Mm. Michael, that's really great. Okay. Well, mm. this is beautiful. Nice. We'll leave them to share their soup. Mm. You can mm. share the recipe on our website, mm. expressoshow.com. Thank you, darling. Oh, Always pleasure. great cooking absolute with you. Pleasure. We'll catch you after the break. Crunchy, too. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.